Boy, do I have a story for you. I went and got a massage the other day because my back is tight. My brother recommended some place. He's like, I'll go here, ask for Coco. She's great. Right off the bat, I was like, Coco, what's going on here? Because like, you know, we all know what happens sometimes at massage parlors, people getting jerked off, whatever happens, I don't know. I've only gotten one massage in my entire life and it was a really long time ago, so I don't really know how to tell which places do that, which doesn't. When, am I gonna have to be like, I'm good on the jerking. No need to yank my shit. I'm okay. I just, my back's fucked up. When I walk into this place, they're playing this weird trance music and I'm like, okay, whatever, relaxation or something, I guess. It just sounded like a young teenage Asian girl just like yelling. And I was like, all right, whatever. So I walk up to the front desk and uh, I was like, yeah, I need a full body massage, like an hour. You know, um, is Coco in? And the guy's like, no, 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 Coco's not in today. Today's her day off. And I'm like, all right, here we fucking go. No Coco now. But he's like, don't worry, I got someone who's even better. Uh, do you like it medium or hard? And I didn't really know how to answer that because I didn't, like, again, I don't know what that means. So I just said hard because I didn't want to look like a little bitch. Like, oh no, can I get a medium? Like, no, fuck it, give me hard, whatever. Stab me with a knife, I don't give a shit. So I go hard. He goes, cool, here's your room. He shows me to this room. These rooms are like cubicles. There's no ceilings on them and there's no doors. It's just a sheet. Also, another thing, because I don't get massages a lot, I don't know, am I supposed to get naked? I don't really know if it's one of these places. I don't know if places differentiate. I don't know if this is like, yeah, this is an underwear on place. This is a naked place. So I just, I went briefs. You know what I mean? I played the middle. And I start taking my shirt off, my sweater off, I take my pants off, and I'm standing there in my shorts and, and briefs. And I'm on my phone texting. Then I turn around and I see this woman like looking through like the crack of the sheet. Like, are you ready? Are you? And I'm like, um, yeah, I guess. So then I take my shorts off and now I'm in my briefs and I lay on the table. So now I can't see what's going on. Obviously my face is down. That sheet whipped open. Shing! And she came marching in there, got right on the table, and immediately just started throwing elbows at me. She was really letting me have it. I thought, like, she sounded angry. I thought she was gonna spit on me, because she, so, she sounded so fucking mad. I didn't know, like, when you order hard, you get a woman who just got, like, her husband just cheated on her and she has all this shit going on and she's just taking her day out on you, because that's what it felt like. It's like when you order medium, you get the normal masseuse, but when you order hard, they go into the basement, they unchain this woman, she comes upstairs, she starts beating the shit out of all the customers. Then, uh, she started massaging the shit out of my ass. She was getting after it, and I gotta be honest, little weird, little weird. Felt good though, it did feel good, it felt good. I, I gotta say, Coco's replacement, pretty good on the butt rubs. So after she's done doing that, she starts doing my back and my arms, then literally, I'm not kidding, and I don't, again, I don't know if this is like a normal thing with massages, but she took my arm and put it behind my back like a fucking arm, like a wrestling move. And she's massaging me as she's like pulling it, and I was like, I was gonna tap, I was like, shit, like you got, you know what I mean? So now I'm in a fucking arm bar, this woman's on top of the table by the way, massaging me with her elbow. Had this been a UFC fight, I would have been, I would have been tapped out. I'm serious. Then later on, she starts doing my legs. And again, I'm wearing briefs, okay? When she massaged my ass the first time, she just pulled them down and started massaging my ass. Then now, she hikes them up and like hikes them. She hiked them. She basically turned my briefs into a thong because she just like pulled it all the way up, full on wedgie in my ass so that it exposed the cheeks so that she could rub the legs and the ass at the same time. Which is fine because cool, do your thing. Massage, this is part of the job. But then out of nowhere, right, she gets off the table and just starts wailing on my legs. She's just punching them, right? And she has a fist. It's not like a, it's like a fucking, she's punching me. This would have been my second TKO because I would have submitted with the arm bar and then I would have been, the, the fight would have been stopped because of punches. So she's punching my legs and then she just leaves the room immediately. Now I'm laying there with my head down and I don't want to pick it up because I'm afraid. So I'm sitting there for like a good two minutes and I'm like, is it over? Like, I, I feel like she would have said something. And as I'm about to like pick up my head, she comes storming through again, swings open that curtain. Shipping! So I just get back down and I hear her kind of rummaging 
through the oils or whatever is over there. And then I start hearing like these clanking thing. I'm like, what the fuck is about to happen? She like rubs me with like a warm towel and I'm like, ooh, this is nice. Then she has these two, I think they're wooden, these balls that are hot as fuck. They're hot. I don't know where she had these. It felt like she had them in a fire and then covered them in oil. And then she starts rubbing them on my back and they're just hot as shit. I'm like, I'm gonna have third degree burns after this. Like they're really hot. And she even asked me, she goes, is this good? And I was like, yeah, it's good. And if you, and I couldn't even tell you why I said that. I was like, yeah, it's good. Even though I was in excruciating pain. So then she stops for a second and I think it's over. And then she goes right back. She takes the balls and puts them on my legs and she starts rubbing them on my legs. And this feels good. Then. She puts them down, hikes up my briefs again, and just starts punching me in the ass. Now I'm getting ass punched by this lady. I swear to God, I have my head down and I'm laughing because I don't like, she goes, is this good? I'm like, yeah, it's great. It's hilarious. Oh, and I forgot to mention, she was massaging my hands. I like, obviously you turn over at some point. So now I'm laying like this and she's massaging my hands. <laughs> She's massaging my hands and she's like, ooh, ooh. And she starts punching my palms. And I know that's probably just a part of, you know, the whole massage experience because like it does something to, I don't even know. But it was just funny how she was like, oh yeah, real nice. Fuck your fucking hands. And then it was over. And I was like, what did I just pay for? You know, like I got put in an arm bar. She burned me with these hot balls on my back. She punched me in the ass and beat up the rest of my body. And I gave her a cash tip, and then when I walked out and went to go pay for the whole massage, I paid with my card. The guy gave me the receipt, so I just signed it, gave it back to him. And he's like, oh, no tip? I was like, tip, here's your tip. Cool down the balls, because my back's on fire, okay? And when I left, my hair was all messed up, because she was doing some like head massage thing, and it just, my hair looked like a mess. So I walked out of this massage parlor onto a busy street in my neighborhood. My hair is all fucked up. I'm like walking weird because I just got beat up and burned. So everyone who saw me was probably like, Dude, Jesus Christ, was this guy get gang banged in that place? But yeah, that was my story. Uh, that's my massage experience. Um, I don't know if I'll go back. I'll be honest with you.